people, you know, they fall into lies without even meaning to. And then the lie just gets bigger and more complicated until you're just stuck. Sometimes she, she, telling the truth is impossible. Why? Because if you tell, too many people will be hurt. I've been on this organic kick, and the deli downstairs didn't have organic eggs. Adriana, there's a supermarket right across the street. Adriana? Oh, my goodness, what happened? Well, uh, can you move the knee? Never mind. I know an orthopedist. I'm going to get you a full workup. She's going to be just fine, I think. Thank you, get her home. I need her now. She thanks, Mom. It's okay, honey. You know, she probably just wants to do her doctor thing and check me out. Do you mm -hmm. mind? I have to give them the insurance stuff and pick up your script anyway. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. We are going to sue Todd until tomorrow for causing this accident. <sighs> but don't worry, darling. I am here now. So I don't have to worry about you sabotaging my marriage? Adriana, you're not well. I know what you did, Mom. You worked Gigi up until she stood up at my wedding to announce that she was in love with Rex. You wanted her to say that my groom was her son's father. You never changed for a minute, did you? You never stopped trying to keep me from marrying Rex. Darling, the last thing I would ever Cut want to do... Cut the crap, Mom. Gigi told me everything. If you are going to believe that raving lunatic... Because I your saw your face when we went through with the wedding. I was emotional. You were miserable. You never wanted me to marry Rex. I was ready to cut you out of my life, but you begged me to give you another chance, and I trusted you. Adriana. You wanted Rex to leave me at the altar. How could you do that to me? Oh, well, we're all set, so... What happened? Just take me home, Rex. I want to go home. If Charlie did this for Rex, it's because that's the way he is. Maybe, may, I don't know, maybe he didn't get to raise his own son, so he just can't stop himself from helping someone who needs a father in their lives. He's, he, he helped me get Shane through some real rough times. He didn't have to do that. No, I know that, but I don't see how a lie is going to help Rex. M maybe he made a bad call. But he didn't mean to hurt anybody, Vicky. If I were in Charlie's shoes, I would want someone to try to understand that I did what I did because I felt like there was nothing else I could do. And as much as I tried to make it right, things just kept stopping me. Rex, if there's anything... Oh, I didn't, uh, didn't realize that you were here. I'm Adriana's mother. Why are you here? Oh, well, he's my father. Yeah, listen, Rex, I was hoping that maybe we could finish our talk. Rex, can we please just go? Uh, sorry. Uh, it'll have to wait. But thanks for coming with me tonight. Really. Adriana, please. If I'm I ready to go. It... Now. Ta-ta, Mumsy. Oh. So what was it you wanted to talk to your son about? Well, you know, not that it's any of your business, but I was going to tell him the truth. No, you're not. You actually got to carry me over the threshold. You like the traditional me? I love the traditional you. And all the other yous. I'll take that. Uh, I'm just happy to be out of the hospital and back home with you. What'd your mom say to get you so upset? Do you have that prescription you filled for me? 
Uh, yeah, I put it in here. <laughs> Is this my toothbrush? It's Rex's, covered in his DNA. Mm, and you want me to have this? Why? Your son? I know he's not Brody's. But with this, he can be. Oh, there it is. It helps. If you were just going out for eggs, why'd you have my toothbrush with you? 